If there's one responsibility that parents take seriously, more than making their kids wear helmets just to breathe or considering a full hazmat suit to be the only suitable protection against the sun, it's shielding their children's self-esteem. You may not be able to teach a child math, baseball, or music, but you haven't really failed unless he or she comes out of childhood without good self-esteem. This overvaluation of self-esteem may be responsible for the ESE epidemic, beginning with kids who actually believe they are the most perfectest special snowflakes who can be presidents of the universe and solve all the problems that exist with one smile from their precious angel faces that were crafted by Jesus himself in his heavenly garage slash wood shop. Unfortunately, your ability to control your child's self-esteem is even worse than your control over your own. You can provide lots of love, good nutrition, a functional parenting partnership, and reasonable schooling and security, and still not be able to protect her from having a rough time academically or socially, or from just being a very nervous, perfectionistic, self-hating little weirdo. It's scary to have kids, knowing how easily things can go wrong and how little your love can do to protect their self-esteem. We'd much rather watch movies about the redemptive powers of love, be they wielded by a parent or stern inner-city principal, to rescue a kid from misery and self-hate. Measuring your parenting effectiveness by your child's lack of self-esteem can make you feel like a failure, which will probably make you an ineffective parent, even if you were pretty good to begin with. The domino theory of good self-esteem would lead you to believe that if you can help your child become competent in math, sports, etc., self-confidence will follow, which will help social skills, which will cause success, wealth, happiness, and amazingly good luck, which will make you feel successful after all. On the other hand, if anything gets in the way of one of these dominoes that happens to lie outside of your control, the last domino will never tip into success, leaving your mission as a parent forever unfulfilled. We know why parents impose this global responsibility on themselves. It hurts to watch your kid feel like a loser and not be able to help. Nevertheless, it's part of the parenting job description for many unlucky parents. Sometimes, no matter how much you adore your kids, your love just doesn't get through, and they don't like themselves. So your job, though it may sound heartless, is to do your best to build them up, remember you've done your best, and then go do something else. Otherwise, you'll burn out and do your kid and yourself harm instead of surviving to help another day. It's the loving parents of self-hating kids who are genuinely the most amazing, specialist, snowflake parents of all.